Hi there, and welcome back to Jay's Toy Collection UK for more action figure breaking news videos and happy WrestleMania Saturday to everyone as I record this because overnight here it seems Mattel and Ringside Collectibles have had like a little mini video, a mini panel if you will, and there has been another bucket ton of wrestling figure reveals. So if you are new here, please do hit that subscribe button. Leave your thoughts on all these figures in the comments below and everybody hit that like button for me and please do tickle that notification bell because tonight if you're watching this when this goes up, I will be live commentating WrestleMania 40 night one. So hit that notification bell so you know when we go live and I will drop a link to that WrestleMania video in the description below. But it is a Saturday morning here in the UK and I thought, well, Let's not react to these on my own. So here he is, my co-commentator for the evening of wrestling festivities. It is Matt from Brick Life Travels. Hello, everybody, and happy WrestleMania weekend. Jay, how are we, all right? I'm all right. I am awake, and I will be awake for at least the next 48 hours because somebody has stuck yeah. Toy Fair in the middle of this. But here we go. Uh -huh. Let's get straight in to these Let's reviews. Let's tuck in. Let's tuck in. So we've gone straight down to the bottom screen and so we are on Ringside Collectibles Instagram page where they have dropped images of all the figures and we start in Elite 112, so a few months away, and we start with Xavier Woods then and first time for his sort of newer hair down hair sculpt and he's got some flowery attire on. So for me, not doing too much with this one, I think we're going to start it off soft in these videos and we're going to get harder as it goes along. How are any thoughts on this one, Matthew? <laughs> Taylor, everybody, as you will. Um, obviously, I'm a massive fan of bright colours. We'll keep this really short because we've got loads to get through. I like the fact that they've added the new hair on this one. And obviously, I'm a massive fan of teal. But it might not be a Reese cup of tea with the flowers across the thighs. But overall, I think it would look nice on the shelf. You've got some random New Day attires. But we've got a lot of New Day. I do like the new head sculpts. Now, this one, we are going to definitely struggle with. So this is Channing Lorenzo from NXT. And to be quite honest with you, I have never heard of this man in my life because I have not caught up on all the current NXT action. So I would defer to Matthew for his expert knowledge on NXT. Is he in the faction with William Weagle's son? That's the only thing I might think he might be in. Potentially, because there's a team of four. That's all I know. But if he looks accurate and he wears those coloured trousers or pants, happy days. But nope, pass. We, we have no idea here. So we no know he teams with Tony no. D'Angelo because I heard that in the video. But apart from that, I have no idea. So there is Channing Stacks, Lorenzo. It may look like him. It may not. We really don't know. So we will plow through to a man yeah. only known to me as Fake Finn Balor. So this is potentially your final member of the Judgment Day. It is JD McDonough in Elite 112. And he does come with alternate hair. So it's not going to be an alternate head sculpt on this one. It is an alternate hair piece. So his hair will come off. So you can have his entrance slick back hair. And then when his hair always falls down, as it does in the matches, you can have his hair down. Look, also getting his entrance jacket. Pretty good likeness on this one of JD McDonough, or as I used to call him, or technically Cheeky Monkey used to call him fake Finn Balor, because of course he is trained by Finn Balor. And I always thought he looked like him. He does, yeah. Fake Finn. I think it's really nice the fact now they're doing stuff where you can have it as like an entrance diorama as well as setting them up in the ring. So hopefully for future collectors, you get more of those sort of alternate hair pieces rather than just the face. But no, it looks good. Yeah, it's something they've just started to implement with uh, the Usos, I think, were the first ones there to have that technology so you can have both looks. So here is Seth Rollins then from, again, Elite 112, dropping later this year. And this is effectively a similar figure to the one that's coming out, I think, in Elite 109 with a gold attire. They said this will be the second figure to come with the new WWE World Heavyweight title belt. So if you're not going to get nice. the gold attire, you can get more of the Bray Wyatt tribute gear that he has on in this particular outfit. But for me, I think I'm going to be going for the gold version because it comes out earlier. And after seeing that world title belt in the cabinets at the display, if you haven't checked that out, check out the previous video on the channel as I go through all of the reveals from the actual cabinets. I think I'm going to go for that one. Yeah, all the new belts look fantastic. And I mean, Harry, Harry Seth, as he's known to me, looks great. So, yeah, he, he grew the hair for that one, didn't he? He looks good. Nice bit of chest hair. Nice bit of chest hair. And oh, and I'm talking Seth. Here's Mrs. Seth then. So this is Becky Lynch in her 
Money in the Bank attire, I do believe. So this is a Marvel cosplay outfit. So the classic sort of X-Men character. So this is Siren, I do believe. Um, I think it's Banshee's daughter. I think it's Banshee's daughter. It's either Banshee's daughter or Banshee's sister. The Marvel experts get in the comments, but we have definitely the uh, Marvel cosplay look of Becky Lynch here from Money in the Bank. Uh, she will come with a ladder as well. And I think there is also a chase. Are they not showing the chase? Are they not showing me the chase? Oh, there you oh, there it is. So, there's a second button, ladies and gentlemen. A second See. button. And there is the chase via the more basic um, sort of fishnet and black ring gear. So look out for that. I do like the uh, I do like the uh, Marvel for the cosplay. So potentially one I could be picking up here. Yeah, I think to be fair, if you're lucky enough to get the chase, that chase looks incredible as well. But... I think she did look very, very good. I can remember her in that outfit as well, or the one that we're looking at now, and she looked fantastic in it. So, yeah, both both a good call from the uh, Mattel team. Yes, not bad at all for Becky. And then we continue with Elite 112 then, so we're getting a look at Elite 112. And it's pretty much a surprise video. I didn't know uh, they were actually going to be dropping a video. The panel hasn't happened yet, so if you are looking out for coverage from the panel, you'll have to come back for a third video on these at some point later in the week, because the panel is actually on Sunday, but it's a very CM Punk-centric panel, but we will get to that in a bit. But here is Bray Wyatt then, of course, the late Bray Wyatt, back in the Mattel line, so they've now given a, a year or so for sort of the family there. And they've now got Bray Wyatt back in the line. And this is an unreleased figure from earlier in the line. It was scheduled for a two-pack that never came out. So it's an earlier look at Bray Wyatt and fantastic details on his trousers there or his pants to my American viewers. And I, I like his little smiley face as well. So great to see Wyndham back in the line here. Yeah, it's fantastic to see him again. I've just literally just zoomed in on the photo and the detail on his thighs are... That's next level printing on that one. That does look very, very good indeed. And obviously... It's great to see him again, but it's sad that he left us. It is. It is very sad indeed. But we will see him again later on in the reveals. Of course, his father inducted into the Hall of Fame last night and they got all the fireflies up in the crowd. Haven't had a lot of time to watch all the full three hours of the Hall of Fame. Got to try and fit that in at some point over this weekend as well. So let me know your thoughts again on all of these. And why not let me know your thoughts on the Hall of Fame, if you've seen it, in the comments below. But ladies and gentlemen, now we're picking up. We are picking, we are picking, picking up. Right. Jay's woken up. It's Tiffy time, baby. It's Tiffy time. So Tiffany Stratton getting her first elite figure. It's based on the NXT Great American Bash attire from last year. Oh, I'm excited for this. I have been waiting since... My Tiffany Stratton fandom started at Elimination Chamber. What a performance she gave in there. And she yeah. had me completely sold. Because as I said, I'm not really caught up on NXT. So quite honestly, didn't know who she was. Watched that chamber. And then I've been backtracking a lot of her NXT matches. She's absolutely fantastic in the ring. So I think big things to come from Tiffany this year. Maybe even a Money in the Bank victory. But we're going to early render look here at... This will be from Elite 113. So we're moving on to even further down the line now so don't expect these figures probably until a lot lot later in the year but tiffany stratton in the pink it's tiffy time and she's coming and she looks fantastic and to be fair she was definitely the performer in that in that elimination chamber so the sky's the limit for her in the future i think she was a fantastic match if you've not caught it get onto the network and watch it it's it's worth it definitely definitely good looking character and figure yeah oh yeah, you knew I'd be excited for this one. Oh, absolutely. How, absolutely. how has she not got a WrestleMania match? Hashtag, it's Tiffy time. Let's see we it see is. her at it's some point. Definitely next year. Definitely next definitely year. indeed. So here comes another man with a chase then. So this will again be from Elite 113. And this man will, of course, spit in the face of the people who aren't cool indeed. So it's Carlito, Caribbean cool himself. And we have a chase as well. So we have the white gear and we have the more traditional, I would say, purple colored gear yeah, as like well so he comes, purple, yeah. yeah he comes with his uh apple accessory so we've got an apple say, in the oh, line. Two red apples there you go pair of apples he's got a he's got his beard because of course he has the big goatee now he's come back on smackdown again another man that hasn't got ray mysterio full heel turn there turning on the turning on this man effectively by not choosing him to be his tag team partner at wrestlemania and choosing dragon lee instead for some reason so it would not surprise <laughs> me tonight prediction if in that match, Carlito interferes and turns heel on Rey Mysterio for not picking him. So, we'll see good looking evening. figure. We will see this evening indeed. Nice uh, nice set of abs there. 
Oh yeah, he, he he looks quite stocky. He looks quite stocky. Sometimes they cut them quite in narrow at the waist, but this one he sort of looks a little bit more bulky as he should do. So yeah, nice and accurate, and he looks he looks great. Now, does your hair look like this in the morning when you first get up? Uh, not as good as that. No, I can't. I can't lie. It does not look as good as that. A bit windswept, but no, he look. He, he's got a good, a good, good set of hair on him, old Kalito, hasn't he? Yeah, it's got a nice set of hair indeed. So I'm mean, looking forward to that one because we have not had a Carlito figure since. Oh, I literally the very first couple of ways from Mattel back in 2010. There's a couple of basics in two packs that either I've got one of them at least, but it's been so a which long, one long two? time. You only get one. Oh, annoyingly, I want the chase. I want the right. the purple oh, colours. The yeah, that's going back to the Jack Pacific days where I had a, a Carlito figure there in the purple attire. So I want like a sort of tribute attire to that one. So I'm going to have to hunt down. So if you're listening, the Smiths buyer in the UK, could you please purchase Carlito from Elite 113? Because then we have a chance at getting the chase. Because otherwise, as you know, with this Mattel line, their international distribution at times is atrocious. Yeah. Yes. So we will yes, it is. We will see. So let's hope. We live in hope at the moment. We will get Carlito. Now, Matthew, as I sip some water, give me some yeet. Uh, but a yeet well start from bottom to top nice white boots and you can see you've got the different texture on the shin and knees compared to almost like the shorts i guess he wears now with the, the longer boots i always find his outfits a little bit bizarre when they're like that it's sort of like almost like a two mix looks great tattoos on this one is this the first time he's got the full arm sleeve i believe so but uh, cl cl cleverly they've covered one of the arms there with the uh the actual the, the actual um, color yeah so, so so it saves them a little bit of ink, but no, overall looks good. And they've added in the um, more grey beard as well. So it looks like you, yeah. Jay, at the moment, this you've morning. Got a, you've got a nice bit of grey beard going on there. So this is J Jayu, so I should say, from Elite 114 then. So we're getting even further into the future now with this Yeet version of Jay. Um, I'm assuming he's going to have the full back tattoo as well. So I think this probably will be the first completely. Uh, somebody in the comments there saying needs the palm tree tattoo. I wonder if we will see all the tattoos mm. down the side can't see them all here but nope. i i think by the this is such an early render for elite 114 i'm going to assume that they'll add all the tattoos in on this one yeah hopefully hopefully they'll add them in but you can't have jimmy without jay and you can't have jay without jimmy because here is the nope. other russo then this is jimmy again from elite 114 coming up and this uh, they did say is his first time the new head sculpt here he's got the braided hair i think for the first time as well yeah, a very boring black attire here i am going to assume he has the no yeet t-shirt on but that is just an assumption but we will we will see if he does come with some more soft goods otherwise not quite as good as his brother i don't think this one it has got a different beard though which is nice to see different color beard so they have changed it ever so slightly in different tattoos i do believe ever so different but obviously he's got his arm sleeve on hasn't he on this one so yeah not a fan of his uh, not a fan of his trousers no to, to, too plain for matthew he's a bright colored man and here we go then we move on to some even earlier now we're going to the gray scale not painted uh renders here so into elite 115 so we are seriously going into the yeah. into the future now um, so this is Kyrie saying then uh, she comes with her umbrella. So that's the first time for the umbrella in the line. And a lot and lot of sculpted detail in this render. You'll see new knee pads with tassels, all her uh, chest pieces there down to her hips with all the overlays. That doesn't look yeah. to be actual on the paint. That does look to be, that's going to be an actual overlaid piece. Yeah. Uh, definitely a new head sculpt here for Kyrie saying with all the braids and things. If you look closely there, you will see the braids in her hair. So a very good looking figure. Going to be a lot of deco hits on this one. So probably an expensive one for Mattel to make. But Kyrie saying coming in Elite 115. Yeah, she's, I think she's going to look good. It kind of looks almost like maybe a slightly different body mold with regards to the size of the quads compared to the, the female arms and shoulders. So it's a it's a good sort of hybrid mix of the two, actually. Look, that, that when that's painted, I think that's going to look really clean. You can tell this man used to be a gym instructor. All that quad talk in there. There we are. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here is a man that tonight, uh, if you're watching this after, this may have already happened, but tonight this man surely is winning the tag team championships and getting his well-deserved WrestleMania on, moment. moment. Here it is, our truth and again from 114. I'm assuming we're going to get the Judgment Day our truth T-shirt as well. I can't think they'd miss that one out. Don't always show the soft goods in these early render reveals, so I'm going to safely assume this is a Judgment Day our truth. 
Um, again, first time in the line for R-Truth in quite a while, really. We haven't had a decent R-Truth Elite. We've had a redo and the Greatest Hits line. But R-Truth duo figure, very good-looking head sculpt there. And that man is in his mid-50s, if I'm not correct, and is looking in fantastic shape. Yeah, it, it again, looks phenomenal. If you've noticed, every time we've had a look at the different characters, they've all had completely different torso shapes. So adding all of them onto your shelf, they're all going to look great. So, yeah, he's going to look good. Looking forward to him. Right then, the final boss is here. So Elite 114 as well. This is the first time then for the modern, modern rock. They have confirmed he will come with one of his new classic Attitude Era throwback frilly nice. shirts that he likes to wear they haven't said which one it is that will be a surprise they said to come but this is rock in his full sort of a uh, in his pants look there so this is going to be from his smackdown promos or his even crazier instagram and uh, um x promos <laughs> that he likes to cut so this is going to be an exciting one to get yeah it's going to be it's going to be a hard one to get I like the fact he comes with his obviously his now famous shades that he never takes off either so it's um yeah, it's going to look great. And obviously, you can tell again by the torso mould. He looks absolutely massive. So, yeah, he does. Good. He, gets, he gets bigger every year. So, we will be wrestling tonight and in that <laughs> tag team main event. So, once again, if you're watching this early, don't forget, hit that notification bell. Or if it's on the replay, head to the live tab and check out our commentary of night one of WrestleMania. And here we have then the man that will be sponsoring the canvas this evening. So tonight at WrestleMania, for the first time, we will have a sponsored canvas. It's a prime bottle dawns the canvas. I'll have a prime bottle in hand if I can find one to drink along. So this is a top pick slogan pour. This is not scheduled until 2025, but it is his SummerSlam attire. So a uh, bog standard Logan Paul. Now we've had quite a few of them. Very hard to get to start with. Uh, this yep. is his match against Ricochet, I think think might be wrong but uh yeah logan paul in the yellow yeah it look, looks good was this the was this one that sold out everywhere in this color or was that uh, the wrong different color it was in the yellow that was in his it was the yellow tire oh, but was. the ultimate reckon, edition yeah yeah that's it that's it i recognize the jacket it, look, it looks clean it looks good uh and here we go then right talking ultimate editions we're now going into the ultimate edition portion we've been through the elites now into the ultimates and this one I'm extremely excited by. I'm not excited by the fact it's going to be Target exclusive. So it's oh. going to have to be import stock for all the Legends Ultimates here in the UK. But it's the American Dream Baby, Dusty Rhodes, with new head sculpt. I love the, the second, the middle head sculpt there. I really like that one. The yelling one's a bit weird. We've had that one before. But the middle one is definitely new. We've got his truncheon and police hat from that, that infamous promo segment. Fantastic. And we have, for the first time, they were very keen on this. His birthmark is sculpted on with sculpt, excuse me, with sculpted detail. So I cannot nice. wait for that. No, it looks good. Three heads, four sets of hands, trungent, two hats, <laughs> and the birthmark. A lot going on with that character. And obviously, we are a big fan of the polka dots as well, aren't we? I am. Look at that. It's a new, new torso mold there, potentially new chest mold as well for Dusty. Oh, looking very good. Looking very good indeed. And here he is then. Dirty Dom is getting an ultimate edition. So it's his... <laughs> I like, the, I like the, uh, the meme somebody's put here in the chat. Yeah, so, that's it. Um, there's Dirty Dom then from WrestleMania last year against Rey Mysterio. He'll be facing his father again this year as well in the tag match. The entrance jacket as well. Pretty much a similar outfit to his elite figure, but just upgraded for ultimate edition form. So there is Dirty Dom. Not much I can say about Dirty Dom. No, not much, not much to say, but let's be honest, with that face mask, it does look good. It does. It's a uh, oh, dirty Dom. Prediction. I a prediction. Oh, that this man may be world champion by the end of the year. There you go. It wouldn't surprise me the heat this man generates, whether they yeah. were to do something like that. And here is his father then from that very match indeed. So it's WrestleMania retire from last year. It's the great Muta tribute outfit from Rey Mysterio. Now, if you looked at the previous video, when we're in the cabinets, Rey Mysterio basic comes with the low rider, and it is the low rider that Rey had to the ring last year at WrestleMania. So get this ultimate edition in the low rider, and you can recreate his WrestleMania 39 entrance in full. Wow. And again, if, you, if you've got the space to do that, and you can get you good at photography, I think that looks look absolutely outstanding if you can put two and two together. But like you've just said, they're always quite difficult to get in the UK. Yes, so yeah, this might be. I think this might be a regular 
uh, Ultimate. When Dusty is the Legends one, it may be harder. So the regular ones, if you are looking in the UK, do come to Argos eventually. So uh-huh. sticking with regular Ultimates, we have L.A. Knight then. He is also getting another figure we'll get to later. But this is his Ultimate edition of L.A. Knight. A few interchangeable head sculpts. So his first figure is just about starting to drop now. And this will be about his third or fourth one by the time we get going. So they are going hard and heavy on L.A. Knight. Yeah, they are. So see what I did there? Nice. See what I did? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's it. That was it. That's that's the kind of content you'll be expecting from WrestleMania weekend. It look, no, look, again, it looks nice. Again, you, the fact that they give you lots of different expressions and the different head molds and head sculpts is good. You can mix and match them all up. So, yeah. Yeah, we will we'll move swiftly on then. So... Ellie Knight's opponent from the Royal Rumble of last year, Bray Wyatt's final match. His match, yeah. pitch black, pitch lights out, whatever they called it, had the weird sponsorship going on. Yeah. But he had the, the glow in the dark, sort of black light paint on. Um, so this could be a pretty cool figure. One I think I will be picking up is literally representing his final televised match. This ultimate was this is before, but with his untimely passing, they did have to put it on pause. But we're a year later now, so they have brought him back. Definitely one for me, this one. Yeah, I think it'd be very interesting to see, obviously, by the looks of it, you've got alternate arms and everything, and it's just going to be the same body. But I think a lot of people are going to do exactly what you've just said. It might be hard to get because it was his last match, so hopefully um, it's easy enough available and it raises enough funds for the cause if it goes to one. Yes, I just assume hopefully they are donating some of the profits. One would hope we'll have some deal arranged there with the family. Yeah, fingers crossed. So, Damien Priest then. So, this man, again, if you look at the previous video in the cabinet, has a new Elite coming that I was quite excited for. And it's coming soon. I thought, oh, here we go. I'm going to get my Judgment Day complete on the shelf. Well, now I'm not because I'm going to pass on that Elite and wait for this Ultimate Edition. So, this is Damien Priest with the Senior Money in the Bank briefcase and the Skeletor entrance attire so because it's made by mattel of course they are the creators and owners of he-man and the masters of the universe so not a problem for them at all to add the skeletal entrance attire into this figure so this is an absolute must and some fantastic head sculpts as well well if you go back to jay's live wrestling streams you called this when he came out in it we had a discussion on different ring attire. Will Mattel do it? They're the same company, and you are correct. And it's going to look very, very good. It's, oh, yeah, very excited for this one. So <sighs> yeah, they, they shouldn't have sewn this here. They'd have just held off on this until Comic Con. I'd have bought that Elite, and they'd have had another £25 out of me. So they've, they've, they've well, jumped the gun on this one. They've cost themselves a sale. <laughs> <laughs> Save, saved you money, though, so that's all right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now, I said we are bringing the fire, and now we are actually bringing the fire, because this is the surprise of WrestleMania weekend. The great Muta is under a WWE Legends deal, so we are getting, for the first time ever, a great Muta figure in a modern action figure lineup then. So, it's going to be based on his early sort of 90s, late 80s WCW appearances. Those fantastic matches he had against Sting. Probably going to have the red face paint on in this. And it will have that alternate head you see. The man that invented, of course, the mist that we see now from all the Japanese wrestlers these days starts with Kejiboto himself, the great Muta. You're going to get his entrance uh, um, uh, attire, I suppose, all yeah. these heads oh yeah. and they said more to come they said more to come they got them under a deal so they why they said they're going to take advantage of that why they've got them under a deal for a year or two so we are going to get hit hard and heavy with the great muta and he has so many looks i literally cannot wait so so excited for this one no it's good I'm, I'm glad they've actually finally got the deal obviously our uh, <laughs> final match was against uh shinsuke wasn't it so that was a that yes. was a great final final match and he had great ring attire in on there as well so hopefully you might get that as a two-pack for his retirement match which both of those together that'd be a good i think that'd be a good you, seller as you well you heard it here first that's not actually a bad shade it's not go. a bad idea at all he's fought on the fly but i did not see we were seeing this i know an independent company have just um, solicited the great Muta figure, so I thought, okay, he's never going to have his license then. But clearly, they do. Oh, this is going to be phenomenal. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. But I am sure any old school wrestling fan is going to be uh, extremely oh, excited. And then, and then we got even better if we could. So here we go. And that was the ultimate editions. Now we're back to the elites for our final reveals of the day. But this is the next Ringside Collectibles 4-pack 
of the defining moments. So we had the return of defining moments last year. We got Mick Foley with a tooth in his nose, Cody Rose with a torn peck, Shawn yep. Michaels from the 1997 Royal Rumble. Um, I think we had a WrestleMania 8 version of Bret Hart. So this year we're back again for one more four pack of ringside collectibles exclusives. And oh my goodness, is this a figure. So what you see here, you don't see everything here. You only see one, but yes. There is four. So this is Attitude Era Kane with four attachable turnbuckle flame effects that fit on your Ultimate Edition Attitude <laughs> Era ring. Also, the right arm can be set on fire to represent the Undertaker's Inferno match and a fire yep. extinguisher for safety to put him out. So we are finally going to do the Kane pose after all these years and my ring is going to be set on fire. Take that as you will, but oh my god, that that's going to well. Anybody that's got the ring and wants <laughs> to do that entrance is going to look incredible. How many flame effects do you get? Just the one, or you get one for each turnbuckle? Four. four you, you get, get four, four of them. That four. is going to look incredible. Yeah, looking yeah. forward to you that you adding that to your display, Jay. That is going to look fantastic. I'm hoping this year at some point. Of course, they've not shown any form of crowdfunding yet. I'm assuming that is now at least not going to be shown till San Diego Comic Con. So save your wallets up. I'm predicting Hell in a Cell. I'd love a Hell in a Cell playset. So if I could have Kane in an Attitude yeah. Era ring with the turnbuckles on fire in a Hell in a Cell, the childhood dream has come true for Shawn Michaels, as they would say. Oh, I can't believe it. Right. RVD from ECW then with ECW Tag Title and ECW World Television Championship. So a classic attire from RVD there from the late 1990s. So, um, yeah, another fantastic one to get. I've literally just got the RVD One Night Stand Ultimate Edition in. That does need opening. But this, oh, another classic ECW figure. Rob Van Dam, so toyetic with his yes. attires. Yeah, it, 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 they're easy changeable with his toy. But just with how he has that sort of leotard type one piece that he kind of wears, which is completely different to everybody else. And obviously the colours that they do, yeah, always looks good. The yin-yang ones that he used to wear, everything like that looks great on the shelf. Yes, cannot wait. And we've had the word leotard mentioned for the first time on Jay's Toy Collector in the UK. So <laughs> that's fantastic. And we're finishing it off then with a third of four. So this is LA Knight from SummerSlam last year when he won the Battle Royal. Uh, and they said it kicked off his career. I wouldn't quite say it kicked off his career. I think he was already getting a bit over. Yeah, and the SummerSlam over, Battle Royal yeah. didn't do a lot. So I yeah. wouldn't. this one is kind of the odd one out to me. And again, it's cost the money. Because this will be a four-pack. I'm definitely ordering this. So therefore, I do not need to head over to Smith's and pick up the new uh, LA Knight in the red attire. And I might pass on the Ultimate Edition and just go for this one. Because I don't need a billion LA Knights. But to be fair, I think I actually like the Ultimate Edition head sculpts more as I'm looking at this now. With a very similar attire to the Ultimate Edition there as well. So LA Knight, as I said, is coming thick and fast. He is indeed. And obviously, this is the problem with guys that just wear trunks to more different attire. Hard to hard to see the difference with the with the trunks. But if you can get it, pick it up. It'll look nice. And I said three of four. And that is how they have left us. Three Ooh, of naughty. four. But naughty. I know where they're going. Well, I think I know where they're going. So tomorrow then, at this very CM Punk-centric panel, they said yeah. they will make the final reveal. So. Oh, it has to be CM Punk. Of and, if it it's money, and if it's a defining moment, it can only be one. Surely this is what I've been wanting. 2011 Money in the Bank. CM Punk. Or will they save it for the Ultimate Edition? I do not know. He's had a few great... Maybe it's Pipe Bomb CM Punk. Maybe it's a Pipe Bomb Ooh. CM Punk. And the Ultimate Edition will be the... the but there's going to be some CM Punk reveals on Sunday. And the CM Punk Mattel Creations exclusive pre-order will be going up on Sunday the 7th, probably for a week's open pre-order. So you're yeah. going to have to stay tuned to the channel to find out about that one. But we will leave you with this. There's so much toys. My wallet is going to be absolutely smashed. Because some it's of these things in the cabinet, they've already gone up for pre-order. And of course, they're legends. So of course, they're on imported UK prices. So Indeed. I'm going to have to wait on some of those. That's Smackdown 4-packs over £100 on the import. So we're going to have to... You'll have to wait for stock on some of those. But it is, of course, WrestleMania weekend. If you're watching this live, it is WrestleMania Saturday. Tonight, commentary is coming. Then it's Toy Fair at the NEC tomorrow. And then it's WrestleMania Night 2, where Cody will finish the story in what Matthew is predicting is going to be the biggest cluster bleep 
that we've ever seen of a matchup. And maybe we will hear there's a little Easter egg if we go a little bit closer to this man's camera. You will see WWF Warzone behind him. So he is predicting Stone Cold is coming. I think he's yeah, off his head. Got to, we will got find to. out. We will find out tonight. <laughs> but we have hit the 30 minute mark. So that's two 30 minute wrestling videos in literally three days. So it's all going on here. Not Matthew, stopping. give them all the wave. There Hello, you go. goodbye. You follow him. Follow him over at Brick Life Travels on Instagram for all things Lego. He has built that Batman box behind him. But ladies and gentlemen, I've been Jay. This has been Jay's Toy Collection UK. Please do comment, like, and of course, subscribe. Thank you to everybody. I've just hit 1,600 subscribers here on YouTube. So we're keeping going on the road to 2K. Hit the like button, and I'll see you, of course, on the next video.